Hey everyone, Brian from A10 here, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at the new A10 Podcast AI Audio Mixer from Mike Live 6 channel. If you're new to the channel, by the way, make sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, what do you get inside the box when you get the Mike Live? Obviously, you have the device, you also get a quick start guide and a warranty card, and a USB C cable. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to set up a two person podcast. So, here I've got a condenser mic and a dynamic mic. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so we've got all our devices plugged in. Input one is our dynamic mic, which is 6.3 to XLR. Input two is our condenser mic, so that's XLR to XLR. Input three, we're using 3.5 millimeter to our smartphone. We've got an adapter, so we're connecting it to the USB-C jack on the phone. Input four is USB-C to USB-C on the laptop. And on the side, we've got our two headphone jacks. Okay, now that we've got all our inputs plugged in, we need to adjust our input volume levels. When you set Mic Live up, the default volume level is zero. So we're gonna need to adjust those with our input volume knob. So right now I'm on input two, it's our lovely condenser mic here. And as you can see, I've already pressed the plus 48 V phantom power button. If you're using a condenser mic, you need to press this button to pick up sound. Uh, if you're using a dynamic microphone, you don't need to worry about that. So right now I've got myself at the perfect sound level, but I can also turn it down and then you basically can't hear me at all. And then I can even turn it all the way up into the yellow and into the red zone. And you don't want to do that because once you go into red, the sound starts to become distorted. So let's go over to input one, which is our dynamic microphone. And let me talk into that. Uh, hello, so you can't hear anything. Let's try again. Okay, let's get it right where we want it. Yeah, sounds pretty good right there. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to input two. Okay, that's sounding very good. Now, if I want to mute anything, I can always press the mute button. And then once I press this, you can't hear me at all. Now let's go over to inputs three and four. Now input three is our smartphone. It's playing one of our totally awesome YouTube videos. So let's check that out right now. That's on mute. Stream and let me and record. It Featuring four HDMI ports right, and two audio jacks it. for input. Mute it again. And input four is our laptop. It's playing background music. So that can be a little bit lower than dialogue, like inputs one through three, for example, might be dialogue. Input four, since it's background music, it can be lower so that you can hear us coming through clearly. So let's try input four. Right. Sounds pretty good. Now that I have all of our inputs set where I want them, I'm gonna go over to the output knob here. So this controls the overall output volume level and I can adjust it down to where you almost can't hear me at all. Or I can put it back up. It sounds pretty good right here. And this is connected to the big red on-air output button right here. So right now this is lit up. That means you can hear what's coming through on the broadcast. If I press it, it's like a pause button and then you won't hear anything. So let's keep that lit up for now. Let's try out our Smart EQ AI function. Now, in order to turn that on, I'm gonna go over to the AI button and I need to hold on it until it lights up. Now, it's gonna run through this light sequence on the jingle pad buttons down here. During this time, I need to keep talking so that the Smart EQ can pick up my sound in order to optimize it later. Once it's done, these buttons will stop lighting up. Okay, so now it's done. And now you can hear a difference in my sound as the AI has kicked in and I'll adjust the volume level. And you can tell that the sound is optimized. It sounds different. It seems to pick up less ambient sound as well. And that's how the smart EQ function works. Okay, speaking of jingle pads, down here we've got our jingle pads or effects buttons. Now we've got eight of these and these are some of the default sounds. So you can hear that. So these are good for a game show, if you're gonna play some sort of game during a podcast. Make you nervous. Now, you can also program these buttons. 
So buttons one through seven are programmable for up to 20 seconds, and then button eight is programmable for up to 40 seconds. So we set it as the background music button, so you can see. Now let's program uh, button one. So in order to do that, you wanna hold on the button until it turns yellow. Now this means it's ready to start recording. After this, I just press the button once and it will start recording. So let's try that. Thanks for watching our mic live video. Hit stop. And now let's try it out. Thanks for watching our mic live video. Okay. Now you might have noticed this mode button over here and the big mode knob. Now this has some voice effects that we can play with uh, to make things more fun during a podcast. So let's try pitch. Okay, so now my voice sounds differently. It comes in through different pitches and I can change it with the voice mode effects right here. Now let's all go to reverb. Oh, and now there's a lot of reverb on my voice. And if I turn it up, I almost sound kind of like Darth Vader. And let's go to mail. This makes my voice much deeper. Sort of like a recording of someone whose identity you want to protect. Let's go to female. This also turns my voice up really high and makes me sound like a female. Now let's check out the duck or auto ducking button. And what this does is auto ducking so it will lower background music volume whenever you start talking automatically. So let's check this out. Let's go over to our PC. Play our background music, hit the duck button. And now whenever I talk, the background music automatically goes down. Goes up and then it goes down again whenever I start talking. Okay, so now let's take a look at the A10 on-air mic live app on our computer. So as you can see here, I have it all set up and we have some different functions than you do on the device. So first of all, we have mic one, mic two, inputs three and four. And I can change the levels here. I can also mute an input right from the app. We also have a settings gear here. So we have mode, I'll talk about that in a second. We also have compressor. Uh, what that is, is you can adjust the dynamic range. So if you're a more advanced user, uh, you could adjust that if you want. If you're a complete newbie, uh, maybe not so much. Uh, down here we have Smart EQ, so we set, have it set to low, but we also have medium and high strengths that you can adjust it to if you want, but low is pretty good. Um, okay, so right now mic 2 is set for mode, but if I want to set mic 1 to mode, I can do that here with this toggle. Now, down here we have our jingle pads. This is the same as on the device, but I can customize them. So as you see, they have names like clap, right away, wrong answer. And if I want to activate them, I can do that from the mic and play the sound effect. I can also adjust them. Okay, so I can edit them. I can change the icon. I can change the playback style. So if I want it to be a replay or a loop, I can do that. I can change the button color from green to red or blue. I can even adjust the volume for each one individually. Now, if you create a custom sound effect with one of your jingle pads and you want to save the sound effect, you can do that here with the download. Or you can click on replace to upload your own sound effect that you have saved on your computer to one of the jingle pads and then you can hit apply. Now over here we have our mode or voice effects. We can activate these from the app as well. So here we have pitch, reverb, male and female. Now if you want to customize one of these, you can do that as well from the app. So just click on custom and let's go to settings and click the custom tab. Now you get a whole range of things that you can play with like the EQ, echo, filter, pitch, echo delay, all kinds of functions. Again, this is uh, somewhat more advanced. So if you are an advanced user, you can play with this in the app. Now let's just toggle that off. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the A10 On Air Mic Live app. So that's how you set up and use the A10 Mic Live. As you can see, it's pretty easy. And once you do, you can start making awesome podcasts. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom. Until next time, I will see you later.